What's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now, before we hop into the actual commentary that I planned, I just want to let you guys know I sauced up this hacker in Modern Warfare 2. It's always the worst players who got to hack, you know what I'm saying? Dom, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't hacking. Maybe I'm not 100%, but God, he was tracking me and my friend through walls like it was absolutely nothing. You're going to see me show a couple of kill cams every once in a while because I had to look and see because it was just blowing my mind how he knew exactly where I was coming from every single time. But he wasn't a good player, obviously. He had to use hacks to actually get a kill in this game. So at the end of the day, we still won. We still dominated it, and we still pup stomped this lobby. And then I'm going to show you guys some Black Ops Cold War gameplay to follow up the Modern Warfare 2 sauce. But today, we're going to be talking about something that I actually talked about a little while ago in one of my previous commentaries, and that is the prestige system in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, everybody's mixed about this, but nothing has been confirmed. The track developers haven't given us any positive nor negative news when it comes to the actual prestige system in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But right now, I'm just going to try to give you guys some food for thought. Maybe stir some things around in your brain right now. Make you think a little bit. And hopefully we can actually hold a discussion about this. But actually, me and one of my homies were talking in the DMs the other day on Twitter. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and follow me over on Twitter. It's at JBoneTheMan. Link to that is in the description. My DMs are always open, so you can hit me up on there. And you can always check out all my tweets as well. Whatever you prefer. But we were talking in the DMs the other day. And we were talking about the actual prestige system. And he threw up a really valid point that I never thought of. Now, as we all know, Activision is a very large corporation that solely only focuses on money. When it comes to gameplay and the fans and making sure the audience actually enjoys what's going on, that's all to the developers. People like Sledgehammer Games, Raven Studio, Treyarch, Infinity Ward. The development studios are the people who actually make sure that the game is fun, playable, consumer-friendly, and that people are going to enjoy it at the end of the day. Activision is the publisher. Activision gets the name out. They get the branding out. They get the advertising out. They get, you know, control of what's going on in the game, the skill-based matchmaking, the uh, microtransactions that are going on in the video game. They get control of pretty much everything that goes on with this title. And as, like I said, like a few seconds ago, it's all about the money. If it's not making the money, they're going to twist things around. They're going to mess with things. And if it makes the experience horrible, they will gladly make sure that people will suffer and be bored with the game just so they can get some extra money out of it. Now, with Modern Warfare, they changed a lot of stuff up with the game. Not just the core mechanics, that's all to the developers. Infinity Ward was the one that made the footsteps so loud, and no dead sounds perk, and no regular mini-map. They're the ones who messed with all that stuff. But when it comes to the microtransactions, that's all Activision. They put in the Bow Pass, they put in the free DLC, and more than likely, they put in the No Prestige system. Now, you would think that that would be a developer move. You would think that Infinity Ward were probably the masterminds, the quote-unquote masterminds, who decided that taking away Prestige was an amazing idea for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But I don't think it was Infinity Ward. Like I said, after I had that discussion with my homie over on Twitter, it kind of opened my eyes to the point that it's probably Activision who were the people who decided to take prestiging out of the video game. Now, hear me out here. The main thing that Activision wants is money. That's all they care about. And the best way to get money is to keep people playing the video game. And if you have a prestige system inside the video game, there's not much incentive to bring people back constantly. You have the ultimate grinders, the people who are going to keep playing the game and try to hit master prestige. Yes, you have those players. But the people who are more casual, the people who don't really care that much about the video game and stuff like that, they'll play it maybe a couple of times a week or something of that sort, they're going to play it, they're going to enjoy it, and then they're going to drop it after a month and call it quits. But with removing the prestige system and bringing in this whole new seasonal system where you get capped at level 155 and you have to wait till the end of the season until you can rank up again, it encourages lower skilled players or people who don't play this game on a day-to-day -day basis it encourages them to come back into the game and play it again. They'll they'll play the game, they'll play it for a month, they'll grind up, they'll hit 155, they'll maybe get a few things in Battle Pass, they'll call it quits, and then when the next season comes, they get to grind again. So instead of being able to, you know, have this constant prestige system where you don't have to stop, you can keep going and keep going and keep going, it actually caps you off at 155, and then when the new season drops, it makes you reset. Now, yes, I understand this is a horrible system. I'm not trying to defend this or anything. I'm a fan of the prestige system. But what I'm trying to say is that Activision is doing this on purpose to make sure that their consumers are going to return to the game and spend more money. You see, you can continuously add DLC stuff. You can continuously add weapons and all this stuff. But I feel like a lot of people, like I said, when they go in for a month straight, they're pretty much done. They feel like they played everything and they're out of the game. But if you get reset every single time that you're playing... People will be encouraged to come back, they'll be encouraged to come grind their level back up, 
And when they come back to grind their level back up, they can see all the new stuff in the store, all the new items and the camos. And it'll only make sense to spend money at that point, because when you look at the bigger picture and these, you know, newer players are returning to the game after getting their levels reset, they see that they got free maps, they got free weapons, and with that stuff being said, they're more encouraged to spend money inside their store because they're getting free stuff along with the whole process. So basically... This seasonal system is dragging players back in to make them spend more cash, which at the end of the day, that's what Activision wants, and that's the only thing that Activision cares about. Now, this worries me, because, like I said, this is Modern Warfare made them a ton of money, and this is the whole formula that they're working off of. They're working on bringing people back into the game constantly to spend more cash. And prestiging does the pretty much the exact opposite. Prestiging is for the people who do religiously play this video game. The people who do play this game day to day to day to day, week after week, month after month. That's what prestiging is for. Prestiging is for the people who need something new and unique to do in their video game. You see what I'm saying? If you play this game for hours and hours on end, you're addicted to it, you're going to get bored if you're going to get capped at 155. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need a prestige system to keep you interested. But for a casual player, they get capped at 155 and they could care less. They're not going to say, oh yeah, you know, I, oh man, no prestige, this is awful. No, they're going to say, oh, I hit 155, I got my weapons, I played the maps, I'm done. I'm going to hop off and I'm going to go about my business. And then, like I said, the, the rank resets. The noobs, or the new people, or the casual players, they see this, and they're like, oh, look, I'm level 55 again. More time to grind, more time to actually do something. I'm going to play the game, and I'm going to actually get reward to play it. So they hop back on, they grind back up, they see all the new stuff in the store, they spend more cash, and they leave. And the, and the cycle just keeps repeating. They leave, they come back, they play, spend money, leave. You see the new rank system come back, they come back, grind it up, spend more money, leave. It's the same thing, and like I said, it's making Activision tons of money. Which worries me because I think that they're going to do the same exact thing in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm going to say it again. I do not like the seasonal system. As a hardcore Call of Duty player, it really takes one of the best things about grinding a Call of Duty game for me personally out. It's a lot of people who like to grind camos or grind, you know, challenges. It's all kinds of things that you can do in Call of Duty. But I'm not one of those people. I'm a person who likes to grind your prestige because I like to I like to sweat. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like to compete. I like to play aggressive. I like to go for streaks, high KDs, great gameplays. That's what I strive for in Call of Duty. And for a player like me, you know, camo grinding isn't really that much of an option because if I have to camo grind, I got to use guns that I really, really, really hate, which is going to affect my actual game plan. I'm not going to get good clips, which is going to lead to me not having fun. And if I'm not having fun, what's the point of playing the game? You know, for challenges, which I just never really cared about. I don't really care about, you know, 100%ing a video game. It's just not in my interest. But for a player who likes to be aggressive and pub stomp and get high kill games, the best thing that you could possibly do is just allow them to continuously upgrade their level. And when you cap that level, it just ruins our experience. It ruins the core players, the people who enjoy just hopping into this game every single day and grinding it out. Even for the people who do enjoy camos or the people who do enjoy, you know, completing all the challenges. It's boring for them once they get to 155 because when they finish the camos and they finish the challenges, what else is there to grind for? There's no prestige system. So you max out at 155 and that's it. The whole system is pointed towards the casual players to make them more money. And I'm not going to say this is false news. You know, the casual players are the biggest majority of the game. It's just facts. The people who don't watch it, and there's a lot of people who watch YouTube, trust me. I mean, there's probably, let's just throw a number out. There's probably, what, 10 million people right now across all the Call of Duty YouTube channels who watch YouTube. So it's 10 million people. I guarantee there's 50 million people who are out there who don't watch YouTube who don't, you know, watch any Twitch streamers, who just see the game on their t television, they see it on the commercial, it's like, oh, the new Call of Duty game's coming out, cool. They go out, they buy it, they play it, and they, like I said, a month later, they're done with it. It's at least 50 million people like that, compared to the 10 million who are, you know, into the YouTube scene, and they know about all the behind-the-scenes stuff, and, you know, the things that Activision are doing, and, had the, you know, the details and the leaks, and the really hardcore Call of Duty fan base. We, we are outnumbered. It's as simple as that. We are outnumbered, and the mass majority of the people who play this game are casual. So, obviously, those are the people that Activision is going to be tending to, which is what this new, you know, no prestige system definitely tends to. Because, like I said, they'll grind up, they'll stop, they'll be like, oh, it's nothing else to do. They'll return when the grind begins again, and they'll keep the cycle going and going and going as they spend more and more money inside the video game. But to be honest, I'm really curious what you guys have to think about this whole topic. 
I'm going to be 100 with you. This isn't any facts that was spoken in today's commentary. You know, we don't know if it's going to be uh, prestige or no prestige. Nothing was confirmed for Black Ops Cold War, you know? I'm just throwing some stuff out there to make you think a little bit. You know, it, it kind of makes sense to me that Activision would continue with the same exact system because it's just so much better for the casual players. And it seems like that's what they're trying to push out of these Call of Duty games now. You know, microtransaction system that really caters to more, you know, basic players who don't, you know, play Call of Duty all the time. Because obviously the people who come back day after day after day, we're going to spend money on the game. You know, it's just going to be natural. You're going to get the battle pass. You might get a couple of camos. You're going to spend something here and there. But they're really trying to make sure that the people who don't play Call of Duty every day they can get their money because they are the hardest people to get money from because, you know, they don't love Call of Duty. They don't play this game constantly every single week or something like that. They maybe play it a few times or they just get the campaign or they play a couple of matches on multiplayer every single couple of weeks and they call it quits and they go play the other video games. Those are the people they're trying to get money out of. So it just kind of makes sense to me that they would just, you know, continue with the seasonal ranks because it encourages people who don't, you know, go super try or people who don't go for camos, people who don't go for challenges. They're trying to get those people to come back in because the, the let's be honest here rank is the only thing that people will really care about especially if you're not you know a hardcore call of duty player in every other video game that's what you want you know rainbow six siege valorant you want to rank you know battlefield you want to rank up call of duty you want your rank it's just what people come back for and you know if you cap it and you force people to stop, and then, you know, the next season you come out with new content, new maps, new guns, and also they reset your rank so you can grind the rank back again. It'll bring casual players back in to keep playing and spending money. Yeah, kind of makes sense. But guys, if you enjoyed today's commentary, make sure you leave a like, and by all means, if you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoyed the commentary, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, I have a Twitter and a Discord. Both those links are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streaming some video games, I do that over on Twitch. Link to that is in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and see you on the next one. Peace out.